I had a long day of work and I did a photo shoot at 12 midnight. No joke, the photo shoot started at 12 midnight. I did it with the new up and coming photographer named Portia. I had a lot of great people to work on set with me. I had Elliot from Urban Compass taping everything. I had uh, Jerk and John on the clothes. I had Dana Chanel on the hair. And it was just amazing to see the creativity in everybody. And I had Manny on the makeup. And it was just awesome to have all these people come to help me out and believe in me at 12 o'clock midnight. So, all I can hope is that these pictures turn out amazing. I wanted to do something new. I had cut my hair off, so I wanted to do, you know, show everybody a new K. Michelle since the music is new. Everything is new, fresh, fun, and fly. So, that's what we achieved. I went in the studio with Javon. He's also my musical director. What I wanted to do was start really getting back to making music. Because for so long, I feel like the stress of the industry and the stress of my situations have, you know, kept, kept me away from really making the music that I love. I can only imagine what kind of music I'm going to create. Everybody's always told me what I had to do. So it's very important that I get the core of what I want to do mm -hmm. and allow them to come in and format and form it. But it's very important that I get the songs I want and I get out what I want this time and my feeling and, you know, mm -hmm. they go and, okay, this song goes, we can, you know what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. what's most, mainly the most important to me within the next three months. Okay. Okay, we plugged in. Cool. So in this studio session, I was very surprised. I had a lot of pop-ups. I had Brian Michael Cox, which is dope. I had JQ Smith, which is dope, who my new record deal is going through. So it was just dope to see them come, give me some advice, but not steal from my creativity. Specifically, all you can be is honest. Like, put the shit out there. And then yeah. when the shit is all there, then we do exactly what we're doing now. We go back, we listen, and figure out what's a keeper and what's not a keeper. But that nigga right there... I was just playing with that. Uh, that and, you just played. And that's her. And even to add to, you know, to the, the comparison, they're going to compare to somebody. You know what I mean? Like, the reality is this. Like, you're not going to come out and be just something new. You know what I mean? You're going to be new, but they're going to always find it. They always have to find something to compare every artist to. You know what I mean? So so I wouldn't be so wrapped up in that. Like he said, just to piggyback, I, right. I would just be wrapped up in being true. So what you know if I mean? the trueness is there's different sides to me? Mm -hmm. So what if those other records like the Ugly Heart, you know, that I wrote and A Place to Hurt, those are me. Yeah, no, no, no. Like I agree. that's No, I agree. I, I was going to say... All, like you said, all of those stories are you, but the story that everybody knows is that. Oh, that's yeah. the, intro like, that's like, the introduction. This studio session was very special to me. I opened up to a lot of people who knew a lot about me, but they didn't know everything. So to just open up was like a release for me. And this was a session where not only where it was a spiritual release, it was a musical release.
Wish I could be part of you. I wanna be with you.